Okay, so I finished carving out the chickadee and my block's ready to print. And the printing uh, stage is the last step on the block printing process here. And uh, to print, you're gonna need several things. Um, first, I went ahead and pre-tore some paper. Uh, I'm using uh, Reeves uh, BFK paper and I have the lightweight 115 uh, gram paper and I am I like the uh, cream natural white. Um, we're gonna need ink to, to roll out and to print your, your block. I use um, Speedball's oil-based ink. Um, there's lots of different options for ink, but this is what I use, and this is uh, black ink. You can use other colors as well. Uh, I have a palette knife to uh, smooth out the ink uh, when I get it out of the tube, and then you're gonna need a roller to roll up the ink, uh, and then a barren or a wooden spoon uh, to print. Once you get those materials ready, we'll be ready to print. Okay, so I'm going to just take out my ink and then I'm going to squeeze out a little bead of ink. I have a plexiglass surface that I'm going to use to roll up my ink on here. I'm gonna take my palette knife and I'm just gonna smooth that out. This will just make it easier for me to roll up. Just take my roller and then just gonna start rolling it. Going to roll it uh, ver 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 vertical and horizontal. And we want a good solid uh, ink covering on all sides of the roller. You wanna listen for kind of a crackling sound on your ink. And then I'm just going to uh, smooth out the ink uh, so the roller has a, a thin, consistent layer of ink all around it. So uh, a good way you can look at your ink, at your roller, and you should have a nice uh, glisten on uh, your roller and that would indicate that you have a good uh, rolled up ink. And then from there, we're gonna roll up our block. All right, so the first time we roll this up uh, with our block, it's going to take more ink uh, than the following times just because it's never been inked before. So we're going to have to roll this up quite a bit. Uh, so uh, I'm just going over um, using short strokes to kind of get all of the roller around. Going all the way around, going in uh, multiple directions uh, to roll up the ink. I'll go back once I'm out of ink, reload my roller. So our first couple prints uh, is inking the plate. Uh, is the term, and so it may take one or two prints uh, before we get a fully good quality print, and that just uh, takes time for the ink to soak in onto the linoleum and to get a, a good level print all around. It's fully inked nicely. I have a couple little Things here. I got a a rag, and I'm just going to wipe that off just in case any of that shows through. If it becomes a big issue, I may uh, take out my linoleum tool again and just carve out some of the high spots. Okay, so I got that kind of centered. Got my paper, and I'm just going to eyeball it. I hold the paper kind of in the center, and then I align it up in the center, lay that down, 
got my bearing. Going to start with light pressure and then increase pressure over time. You'll kind of instantly start to see a transfer image uh, through the paper. And then what I do is I kind of go and I'll apply pressure and I'll keep moving that around the entire linoleum block. When I think that I've done a good job and that I've got a good transfer, what you can do is you can just peek, peel up one side and you can see whether or not it has a good transfer. If it doesn't, you can just roll that back down, go over any of your hot spots, and then you can peel that up. And then there's your print. So like I said, uh, it takes one to two prints for you to have a good print, uh, a good quality, fully inked print. Um, as you can see, there's a couple little inconsistencies, and that's just uh, lack of ink on the plate. So our second print will turn out really well. And then, so it's kind of a step and repeat for how many prints you're going to print. I have uh, 10 prints that I'm going to go through, uh, and I'll show you through that. I'll do one more with you guys, and then... Um, I'll continue on from there. Okay, so I got my second uh, print ready and that's inked up. And I just wanted to show you uh, a little better uh, to get an example of what a fully uh, good inked plate is. As you can see, it has a nice little shimmer and sheen to it. And that's a good way to see that you have a good inked plate. Uh, and then you just kind of go around and see if all your plate looks like that. That's also a good way for your roller, um, if you have a good inked roller, is to check for that sheen. Okay, so I'm printing the second print here. Same process. Take my paper, kind of center it up. Take the Baron. Light pressure first and then we increase pressure and then I push down all around working away from the outside to the inside now it's uh, important um, to find a good balance if you over apply pressure you're going to get an over inked plate and you're going to lose some of your details and if you don't apply enough pressure uh, you're going to get a uh, a loose transfer and it won't be as clear. Just gonna pull that up. And there we go, we got a good print. Now you can see behind me, I have a clothespin uh, and I just have string with a bunch of those clothespins and I hang these up and it takes about, uh, with oil-based ink, 24 hours for them to dry. Okay, so I'm done printing. I got my addition. Uh, and then uh, to clean your block, uh, what I did is I just got a scrap piece of paper and then uh, I just set it down and I just pressed down. And these are ghost prints. And this just gets the SS, uh, ink, SS ink off of your plate. Okay, so I finished printing my addition. Now I'm ready to kind of clean up. I'll go through what you need. Um, so I got my block and I got just a scrap piece of paper and it's going to place the block down and then just press on it and, uh, get the SX ink off of the plate. And these are called ghost prints and, um, some people like to keep them and maybe collage with them. I just kind of just let them go. Uh, and then your roller, I scrape off the ink that's left on my plexiglass. And then uh, I'll get rid of that. And then the roller, I'll just use this paper and I'll just roll out. 
the roller and uh, get the excess ink off of the roller too. So that's kind of at a low level. And then uh, I take a rag and then Simple Green is really great to clean up all this. And then vegetable oil, use a combination of both of those. And then so I'll just spray this with uh, Simple Green, a little bit of vegetable oil and uh, wipe them down with a rag. And that's about it.